sip that water while we exercise. People, we've talked about that time and time again. Replenish the body fluids. Okay, let's do an adductor stretch. Use your stool here, a wall or your couch. Place the heels of your feet together. Grab your ankles, never your feet. That can just cause the knee joint to become a tad unstable. Don't want to take any chances. Okay, if you are frustrated with your diet at this point, you're ready to give up, please don't remember, no more than one to two pounds per week should you lose. If you're losing more, chances are it's water and muscle tissue. You do not want to lose muscle tissue. Muscle tissue burns calories more effectively. Okay, so for example, if there are two people right now sitting watching the program, the person with muscle, more muscle tissue is burning more calories just sitting there. Okay, you want muscle tissue, forget about your scale, go by inches lost. And if you're really hung up on scales and your weight, an inch is approximately one pound. Okay, and remember, eat, you've got to eat. If you stop eating, you're going to cause all sorts of havoc with your body. You sitting like so, sit up nice and tall. This is the best stretch for the adductors that I know the safest, and it really helps if you do support your back. Okay, do you feel the difference when we do it in this position, supporting our back and then not supporting? It makes a big difference. Okay, so sit, stretch. This is the stretch that Carter should have done before he played tennis. Okay. There we go. And of course, he will do it from here after. Sure. When we just did our last segment, he said, that was low impact? Because he watched the low impact section. And I said, yeah, anyway, oh, I was sweating just watching. And if you're at home just watching, please join us next time. Take the challenge. Okay, let's do our pretzel sit. In this position here, bottom must stay in full contact. If it's not, bring this leg back around, okay, just to ensure that you're getting full stretch. And then use this elbow against the knee and twist right around. This is a nice stretch for the spine. If we've got any cracking out there, any carbon being released, that's what that sound is, just leave that for your chiropractor. Okay, let them adjust you. Same thing over to the other side. You did well today. Thank you for exercising with me again. I agree, it goes by much too quickly. Although for those of you who have just joined us, you're probably thinking, oh, too quickly, my gosh, I wish it were only 10 minutes. But you'll find that over time, you'll be wishing for an hour show too. Okay, that's what I'll ask for Santa Claus to bring this year. Okay, twist around, all the way around. Hold a stretch, you should feel this in your gluteal region too. Did you do your best today? Okay, did you push yourself? If you didn't today, you've got an opportunity to do it again next time, okay? Okay, come back to center. Now let's sit up on the stool, and what I'd like you to do is stretch our lower backs with a spine stretch and upper back. Legs come apart in this position here. I'd like you to hang, monkey hang, just round forward, round your spine, let your head fall, your shoulders fall. Listen, if you spend a lot of time in a seated position during the day, you can do this stretch for your spine, okay? And actually, you can grab your legs here like this and do this. Stretch. Okay, I'm going to continue stretching. My name is Cynthia Kerlick. Until next time, please take care and thank you for joining me. Bye-bye. Okay, it's a fact of life we need exercise to feel good and stay in shape. But no, you don't have to go to a gym at an ungodly hour of the morning and sweat with a bunch of strangers. Just stay tuned for fitness expert Denise Austin's daily workout next, only on Lifetime.